When Doctor Strange was talking about 14 million and 605 probabilities, what actually were these possibilities? And the more important question nowadays is, was he lying by telling it's the only way? Everyone wonders that question. Why did Iron Man have to die? Actually, this scene, where Doctor Strange sees everything appears to be absurd by fan sites. In the first look, this opinion sounds reasonable, but there's not so much details about that. Besides everything, why did the Avengers wait five years instead of all the other ways to stop Thanos? And why did Tony Stark die as a result? People on the internet found so many different explanations for these questions. But for me the only reasonable excuse is, Doctor Strange knew that the only way for their victory was this. Of course, there are plenty of ways to beat Thanos. They can tear off his arm and destroy his army. After Infinity War. Nobody left from Thanos' soldiers. The simplest one is Doctor Strange can open a portal and Thor can cut off Thanos. Just because of that, so many people thought Strange did it just to put some dirt in Tony's eyes. But here we are talking about Doctor Strange. I mean, he is not a kid. Actually, the problem is very simple here. But some group of people on the internet said that most of the problems occurred because of Iron Man. However, that is just because of the reason and result connection. So even if Thanos has stopped, it's not clear what Iron Man will do after that. As a result, Tony had five years to spend time with his family. When Doctor Strange said this is the only way, perhaps he looked at scenarios after Thanos' death too. Besides all of that, beating Thanos is so easy for the Avengers. Normally, Vision is as strong as Superman, but in the endgame he has shown us to be weak. And Doctor Strange still did not tell anybody about other probabilities and what other events he saw. But right before his death, Strange told Tony Stark that this was the only way. Maybe in their situation, possibilities still did not end. I mean, these 14,605,000 probabilities matter still goes on. Josh Brolin announced he will return as Cable and Thanos. In this case, the endgame and Infinity War loop still continues. As you know, Thanos was killed by Thor in both cases. But another Thanos variant came up from the past, and that happened five years after his death. So the probabilities may never end if it happens again. For example I talked about Thor's finger snap, or Captain Marvel could do it too. There was no need for Tony's death for that. So Strange must be considered future events too and because of that he chose Tony for that role. And someone might ask, if there's only one timeline, how did Strange see 14 million possibilities? To be honest, at that point everything becomes confusing. As we know from the Loki series, TVA is outside the timeline. Multiverse timelines formed both in the past and in the future. So TVA's existence didn't affect Avengers, but, somehow, they took Loki when he tried to play with the timeline. In my opinion, Kang was behind these events. From the very beginning and he made up Tony's death for his own interests or to keep the timeline safe. In the end there's only a number of characters with equal knowledge and intelligence to Kang. Tony Stark's space-time GPS project could sabotage Kang's future plans. Maybe because of that, Tony Stark should have died in every possible future that Doctor Strange saw. The Conqueror Kang is a human in the end just like Tony Stark. And Tony Stark completed the Mobius line and it spoils that he will be a competitor to Kang in the future. We saw Kang as he who remains in the Loki series. That Kang was keeping the multiverse under his own control and was trying to prevent any cases that could create the multiverse before it happens. Of course, he couldn't predict Sylvia's future, because he didn't know she had a future when Sylvia managed to live by hiding in apocalypses. So in my opinion, this character is the one behind Tony Stark's death. If Iron Man would have lived, he could figure out that someone is controlling the timeline. Maybe TVA didn't want to mess with the Avengers. As Ravona said, these must have happened. Then who made these decisions? Everyone blames Doctor Strange, but in future movies Kang might confess this. Why will we set Kang in Ant-Man's next film? That's because at this point the biggest threat to Kang would be Ant-Man's technology. He who remains gadget looks like Tony's device in the endgame. So with the help of this device, Kang will be able to control the timeline. In the endgame's possibilities, Iron Man's living was a must-have for Kang. After the intervention of that device, somewhere in the future Kang will use this tech and take over everything. In conclusion, that was the reasons and theories behind Tony Stark's death and possible futures after that. Hope you liked this video. If you are an Iron Man fan, you would probably like this video too. Thank you for watching.